Hello artists. Today we are going to do something a little different. Um, we are going to make some collages. A collage is a fancy French word that just means to paste. So we're going to make art by gluing and pasting and cutting different shapes. We are going to make some neighborhoods at night. Now we already know that when you draw, you just kind of put shapes together to make some. When you make a collage, it's the same thing. I'm putting glue all over my rectangle and I'm going to put it down on my paper for my first house. Now I'm going to use a black piece of paper because I want my neighborhood to be in the nighttime. Now if you can cut a rectangle and a triangle in paper you can make a house. We've already made houses by drawing them by putting together rectangles and triangles. But now let's see if you can do it by cutting. When I put glue on, I'm going to make sure I get all of the sides in the corner and maybe a little bit in the middle. And I'm going to press it down so it sticks. So I don't have any corners coming up or none of the paper is coming up. And there I have a basic house. But that's kind of boring. Let's put some stuff on it. We can cut different shapes to make doors, windows, window panes, chimneys, or whatever else you want in your house. Get creative with it. There's no wrong answers. There, that looks better. Now I'm gonna make some more houses. I'm gonna say the whole bottom of your paper should be filled with stuff. So I'm gonna say at least three houses, but you can make five or six or seven or eight, as many as you want. Make sure that each one is different. You can add things like garages or different floors or the roofs could look different. We could use different colored shapes. But make sure that each house is different from the other houses. Some could be bigger, some could be smaller, some could be skinnier. The, the windows could be shaped differently. There's really just thousands and thousands of ways you can make your house different than the other houses. So take some time and do that. If you do, I bet you'll be surprised with what you come up with for your houses and how to make them different. Now let's make something other than just the houses. You can make cars or trees or something. I think I'm going to do trees. First I'm going to cut the um, trunk and some branches and then I'm going to glue a little um, organic shape of green above for the, for the leaves. That's one way to make a tree. If you know a different way, go for it. Or you can really put in whatever you want. But there should be something other than houses there. You decide. It is your neighborhood. Now, after I'm done with my neighborhood, I'm going to put something in the sky. Here I'm going to cut a little uh, moon that I'm going to put up there. And then maybe I'm going to finish off my picture with some white crayon or yellow crayon for the stars or something in the sky. It kind of brings the neighborhood together, makes it look like a nice neighborhood at night. I even put a couple shooting stars in this one. Now when you're done, we're gonna make sure that we are cleaning up our scrap paper. Now, if you've got a little piece of paper, there's not really I can do anything with that little piece of paper, so it's okay to throw those away. But if you have bigger pieces of paper, please save them. Because I don't know when I'm going to be able to get more construction paper to you guys. And we should save the construction paper we have, even if you have pieces cut out of it. Because we could use some of that in future art projects, in future collages that we make. Now, I really hope you like this. I liked mine. I really liked making mine. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Because that's my favorite part about being an art teacher.